Hello Pisces, welcome to a love reading 2022. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love, who you might be dealing with, and what do you need to know about what you can expect next. Uh, thank you so much for being here, for checking out my videos. I really appreciate it. Um, before I get started, I just want to say that not every reading will resonate for you. So if this doesn't resonate at all, check out your other placements, uh, your sun, not your sun, your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance. Sometimes those readings can resonate more than your sun sign. So keep that in mind that not everything will resonate for you. All right, so let's jump into it for Pisces. Third angels, guys. what do we need to know? For Pisces, what does Pisces need to know? Spirit recording, love. What does Pisces need to know regarding love? For Pisces, for Pisces, what do I need to know? What's currently going on for you in love? We have the King of Swords, Four of Wands, and the Three of Swords. In your person's energy, we have the Moon. There you are, Pisces. Two of Pentacles and the Star, Aquarius energy there. And where all of this could be headed next, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. Okay, a lot of doubt. A lot of insecurity here, a lot of like uncertainty, especially with the two of pentacles, two of swords, seven of pentacles. Like this is like doubt central right here. Bottom of the deck, we have the eight of cups. Hmm. Well, something's clearly up because you have the three of swords in like what's going on right now. So there's pain, disappointment, or a difficult conversation taking place with the King of Swords, the Three of Swords here. I think this has something to do with home, life at home, or stability in home, stability in a partnership. I feel like your person is trying to figure something out when it comes to your connection. There's doubts that they're having and they're going back and forth about something. We're going to have to clarify and, and get some more in, insight into what's going on. But even in the near future, I see that same insecurity, that same doubt. What does the future hold? How is all of this going to end up? You know, it's all over this reading. Okay, so let's get some energies here. Spirit, can we get some insight on the energies? between Pisces and this other person. What do we need to know? Okay, we have burning passion, passion, intimacy, chemistry. The chemistry is off the charts. Okay, so there's clearly interest here. Intimate connection, passionate connection. What else do we need to know about the energies between Pisces and this other person? Moving forward. You're moving forward into a new chapter. Well, okay. There's a couple of things that I'm like, the more I look at the spread, the more questions I have. There's no cups here. No emotions, no, you know, no emotional displays. There's no messengers here either. Um, So, and honestly, when I look at all of these energies, there's no action. There, this is almost like there's something is frozen in time right now. Maybe someone's stuck, two of swords, seven of pentacles here on what they can do, if anything, you know. The king of swords is the only one that I'm kind of looking at with intention like there's some the king of swords at least is someone that might communicate or has some sort of information so let's clarify let's get some insight here this moving forward card 
this eight of cups card this is all about leaving something behind starting a new chapter a new cycle so i'm, I'm almost wondering if one one of you in this connection is thinking about moving forward without the other despite the chemistry and the passion so let's see what's going on here let me get some insight please for Pisces these energies tell me about this king of swords why is the king of swords here why is the king of swords here nine of swords and the hangman okay so again stuck i feel like someone's stuck in their head worried stressed about communicating something or about information that they're receiving or figuring out can i get one more for this king of swords Get one more for this King of Swords. Why is this King of Swords? Two of Cups wanted to come out there. And the Ace of Cups. So this is about a partnership. Someone's worried about a partnership. Circumstances with a partner, issues with a partner, etc. Yeah, Seven of Wands. There's something going on here. I get the sense that someone wants to fight for this connection or make something happen because they they still have feelings here um but i don't really see action about this tell me about the four of wands Tell me about the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? Nine of Wands. Eight of Wands. The Fool and Death. Holy crap. Scorpio energy with death. So an ending and a new beginning for sure. And this is happening, I feel, at home. Or within a, a, a marriage, perhaps? I feel like there's something going on here, Pisces, in a connection that has brought about some sort of an ending or a change. And I think that's why the Three of Swords is here. Nine of Wands is telling me that this has been going on for a while. Someone could be feeling tired, overwhelmed, worn out. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Tell me about the Three of Swords. The Sun. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Mm. The Hermit. Okay. Virgo energy. I think that something was revealed or someone found something out. That was very painful. <laughs> oh, the Ace of Swords. I mean, the Ace of Cups is here with... I think that it doesn't affect the fact that uh, it's almost like whatever this painful situation is, it's not like the love is gone. There's still love here, at least on one of your, you know, either this is how you feel or how they feel, despite the fact that something has been very painful and difficult to deal with. Tell me about death. And whatever this is that's going on, I feel like your person has a lot of doubts, insecurities with the moon, the two of, pen of pentacles here. Why is death here? Tell me about death. Six of cups. Something from the past. And there's a five of cups. Oh, soulmate connection, perhaps? Something has ended. I think it was a connection to the past. Or this is something that's ongoing.
Two of Cups, Six of Cups. This could definitely be a soulmate. Four of Wands is here as well. I feel like there was a strong connection here. But I feel someone's moving forward. And I think it's because they found something out or something was said. Let's jump down to your person's energy here. What do we need to know about this person that Pisces is has? What we'll be dealing with. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? About this person that Pisces is has. What do we need to know about this other person? Sensitive? Responsive, perceptive. This person is very aware. What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person's energy? Loyal, faithful, and dependable. Again, I feel like this is someone that um, your person. I think it's the one that still has feelings. Divine Feminine at the bottom of the deck. I think your person's um, the one that still has feelings. Um, or... Maybe they know with a certainty how they feel, but they're not sure how you feel. Let's find out. Tell me about the moon. What's this moon about? Why is the moon here for Pisces? The Queen of Wands, the Nine of Cups. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. I'm almost getting here like I don't know how to get what I want. I don't know what action to get that would grant me my wish. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Six of Swords. Hmm. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. So this person is thinking about a departure, but then the Four of Swords and the Four of, of Pentacles, I don't think that they're the ones leaving. I don't know, it's weird. It's like they're unsure about a departure or they're unsure about what to do regarding a departure that someone is taking here. And for some reason, I just don't, I just don't understand it. I don't know, uh, Pisces, if this is resonating for you, are you the one thinking about leaving your connection? Ha, um, is this person that you're dealing with, have you talked about them wanting to be done with a connection? Are they having to leave something behind to be with you? Like, what's going on? Because the departure here is very important. I just can't quite put my finger on who's the one that's leaving. And for some of you, this could have been a departure from the past. Because we do have the Six of Cups here with Death and then the Fool. So it could be like something renewing here from the past that was dead. Or that was over in the past. You know, someone could be wanting to have a new beginning there. Tell me about the star. The star is hope, faith, renewal, healing, you know, having hope or faith in something. Tell me about this star. Tell me about this star. Why is the star here? Five of swords. Why is the star here? I wonder if this person wants to heal this conflict. Yep, six of pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, the higher font. Um, let's just look here. I'm not going to take these, but um, I'll take these because they flipped over. We have the Three of Wands, the Lovers, and the King of Cups. Gemini energy. I think your person is still in love with you, um, is maybe even waiting for you. I think they want, if it were up to them, they would heal this, balance out whatever is happening here. They're still loyal to you. 
um, holding on to you, perhaps. Can I get one more energy for the moon? But for some reason, they don't have the answers or the clarity with the moon. They're not sure about something. Tell me about the moon. I think it's the action they need to take, but tell me about the moon. There's the Knight of Swords. Because I was about to say, where are the pages, the knights? Where are the messengers? Yeah, Knight of Swords. I think that this person... If it were up to them, they would tell you something important. The Hierophant is here, Taurus energy. When I see it with a card like the Eight of Pentacles, I think of someone that wants to prove themselves, you know, in, in terms of like, I am willing and able to commit to you, to be faithful, to do the right thing by you, etc., etc. But, you know, this is all well and good. But then we have here the future energy. I don't see anything happening here. Someone's still undecided, stuck with the Two of Swords. And I think it's your person. Because the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Swords is just making me think of the Moon and the Two of Pentacles. And then here is someone, the Nine of Pentacles, doing very well. Independent, free, single. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Page of Swords. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. What do we need to know about the Nine of Pentacles? Four of Wands. Okay. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Okay, again with the decision making. Two of Wands. What path do I go? What decision do I make? Seven of Swords. Interesting. Page of Wands. Okay. Tell me about the Two of Swords. I just want to kind of get all of the clarities or the clarifiers out, I guess I should say. I don't know. I can't. I forgot English for a second. Two of Swords, please. <laughs> um, before I kind of look at all the message together. Tell me about the Two of Swords. What's going on here with the Two of Swords? Strength and the Three of Cups. The High Priest is the bottom of the deck. Leo energy with strength. Okay. I can tell you that whoever is worried about the future, which I feel is your person, they're worried because I think there's someone else here. Maybe you started seeing someone, maybe there is a parent or family member, coworker. And I feel like if this is not a third person, tell me about the Three of Cups. This is like that, a symbol for re reuniting, coming together, celebrating together. Tell me about the Three of Cups. What do I need to know about the Three of Cups? Three of Wands. Maybe they're forced to wait because of this. I mean, okay. I guess this could still be interpreted as waiting for a coming together, waiting because of another person. So let me get another one. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Knight of Wands. Again, I'm getting the same message. Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so. When I look at all these energies again, um, <clears throat> page of wands, page of swords, knight of swords. The only a knight of swords is here. I think I said that already. Knight of wands. Okay. Page of swords, knight of swords, and page of wands, knight of wands. These are the action cards that I'm seeing. However, the only one that's like not attached to something weird or strange is the page of swords so when i look at all of this together because i'm just i have a million things going through my mind right now that five of swords is a problem the three of swords and the five of swords are connected somehow 
Um, I feel like someone's behavior caused a lot of pain to the other person. And that's why there's insecurities and doubts. It's almost like this person knows they have to work twice as hard. And I feel that's why they haven't come forward. Four of Swords. Um, I think their behavior cost them. Someone's behavior made the other person leave or end things. That's I'm talking to a Pisces where that has happened. Because this departure uh, running theme that I see here with death, six of swords moving forward, eight of cups at the bottom of the deck um, over here. I feel like someone has left or has plans to leave and it's because of what's happened. So then that puts someone on kind of like the defensive in a way, like what do I need to do to make sure this doesn't happen? And I think that's your person's energy that's showing up there. They just don't know how or there's doubts or insecurities that they have about making this happen. I think they have something to say. And I've been kind of picking that up since the beginning of this reading. Um, let me see if we can get something with this Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Which is fascinating to me because I don't have a Page of Cups, a Knight of Cups. Um, the Eight of Wands is up there. Um, King of Swords is up there. Um, so that tells me that, you know, maybe this is about something more serious than just feelings or an apology. It's like telling you the truth about something. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Judgment. Oh my God. Yeah. And then there's the moon. The bottom of the deck again. So whatever they're going to tell you, it's something big with judgment. Um, I feel like it could be them asking for a second chance, or it could be them telling you that they've realized something about the past. You know, I've had an awakening. I've realized something about the past. Now the moon though, and the five of cups here, it's very interesting because I feel like this is someone that's internalizing their regret, their fears, their um, sadness and disappointment. I think this person is a mess to be perfectly honest with you. They're loyal to you, yes. There's passion here, yes. But I feel like, I feel like this person's like, in internally they're conflicted. So then I go down here to look at where all of this could be headed next. And I see them maybe observing or keeping tabs on you. I see them hoping to make the right decision. But with the Seven of Swords, it might backfire on them, to be honest. Not the best approach. And then when it comes time to like, you know, I see a Knight of Wands, um, a Knight of Wands here with the three. It's like every time I clarify something here, it just gets more co complex, more um, convoluted, I guess. So like the Two of Swords is typically a card about an indecision, someone that is stuck and undecided. They can't decide on what to do. Um, so then I pull the Strength card on top of that, you know, as a clarifier. And Strength is about having courage. You know, so maybe it's just that this person needs courage, but no, it's not just that because there's then the three of cups came out. There's something else here. It's not just strength and it's not just courage that someone needs. So then I clarify the three of cups and it's the knight of wands, which would be going after something with passion. But then it, it's like with the three of wands, which is the opposite of the knight of wands. So it just... It's kind of like someone can't really decide what to do. And so it keeps them stuck. Let me get some insight into this near future energy. You will be rewarded. Go for it is what I have here under like messages and guidance for the near future. So someone just needs to go after what they need to go after and just stop questioning everything. This was a lesson is at the bottom of the deck. I feel like your person is just too self-aware. Um, I think they're full of fear. I think a departure has snapped them out of this though. It's like now they feel like the, t the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking and they're kind of desperate because they know they have to make a decision, but they're terrified. And also, I also get the sense that it's like, should I act now? No, I can't. I have to wait. Okay, because of this, because of this. You know, it's not really going to show up in the tarot if it's something very specific. But I could tell you the hangman's here. The hermit is here. Four of swords is here. Um, three of wands is here. 
And these are cards for me as a reader of hesitation, you know? Even the Nine of Swords, I kind of see it as paralyzing. So I kind of want to know in the extended, we'll look at this because I'm running out of time, you know, well, what's with this paralysis? Is this ever going to change? Is this person just going to be thinking about what to do forever? Are they going to be going back and forth forever, fighting themselves? And I also want to look at that death card, that fool energy, because I feel like there's something more there to explore in terms of like what the future might hold. You know, what's this moving forward energy about? What's on the other side of that moving forward? Who's moving forward and where are they going? You know, I feel like I didn't really get that much clarity here, even though I have so many cards on the table. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed the reading. It helps me out a lot and it's a free way to support the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all in another video very soon.